You know you can cross shit out of contracts, right? So basically everyone related to me is a lawyer. And one of the most helpful pieces of information they ever gave me is so simple. And would maybe make a difference in a lot of the situations I'm reading about here. When someone hands you a form to sign. Of course read it. They have no business asking you to sign anything without giving you time to read it. Right? If there's something on that form you don't like. You can cross it out and still sign the form. Put a line through it. Initial it to indicate that you are the one who made the change. And then go ahead and sign. You can't be held responsible for agreeing to that part of the contract. Specifically as this applies to work. When you're being onboarded you have a billion T forms to read and sign. And obviously most people don't really read it all. If you do, HR gets bored. Their attention wanes. They often don't even realize you're changing anything. But even if they do, that is perfectly legal. And how we should all do business emo. I hope this helps. Edit. To the people who saw my words but read. Go commit fraud. You're just telling on yourselves. Of course this, like all your rights, should be exercised in good faith and good judgment. There are plenty of comments and examples below clarifying both. You can do this. And I have. But they can reject the new terms and say their terms are non-negotiable if you want the job. I want to say I've read this about a guy doing it to his bank and them not reading it and signing it off. I can't remember if just second-hand account or new story. The new loophole businesses seem to be using is online documentation and e-signatures. They send it and then you, click here to sign. However, I experienced a situation where the click box was merely perfunctory and did not have any attestation to it. It wasn't, I agree, or, I have received. It was merely, this is X form. Thought that was exceptionally dumb. But hard to line out PDFs. Is this an American thing? How would I find out about this in Canada? I do this all the time. Any time an employment contract has ridiculous terms that are not in my favor. Like they own the IP for anything I create outside of work while I work there. Or worse. Usually either HR doesn't bother to read it before getting an exec signature or HR doesn't care. It never comes up. Usually they email me contracts as PDFs. So lately I've been editing the PDFs. Signing them. And sending them back. I'm not sure if that would stand up in court the same way. But that's why I get all federal holidays off whereas the rest of my team only gets 8 of them. I learned this before going paintballing once. My friend didn't like a line about the place not being accountable for basically anything. He said that the wording meant their employees could literally put a bear trap out there and they wouldn't be responsible for injury. IDK if he was correct about what the contract meant because neither of us are lawyers but it's definitely interesting, useful to know for the right circumstances. With so many contracts being electronic now, how would you do this if you have to electronically sign a PDF? Also, most big companies don't keep those contracts or logs of the signatures. If you cross something out, take a picture for your own records as well. And if issues ever do come up with a contract you signed with an employer, challenge them to show that you signed the thing. There's a good chance they don't have any record of you signing it other than assuming you must have since you work there. Source. I work for a Fortune 500 company and negotiate contracts for a living. We've changed archiving systems so many times. Anything 5 plus years old is not searchable and most of the TNC's type records are not actually stored anywhere. Our servers are a big black hole. I do this all the time. Edit. I've done this for employment but also apartment rentals, car loans, gym memberships, etc. 
When I worked with more agencies as a freelancer, I would do this a lot. Independent contractor agreements can be savage if they think you don't know what they're talking about or if they think you won't care about the clauses. I have seen some ridiculous vendor agreement clauses out there that I would never accept in a million years. Next you are going to tell me eating a contract isn't a valid way to nullify it. You can edit all you want, just make sure it wasn't pre-signed by the other party. You sure can try. Every employment agreement I have done had a section detailing that any changes to the standard agreement must be agreed by a high-level executive. It's a fantastic way to get an offer withdrawn. So you can line item veto things? Yeah, that's why they use electronic documents now. What about sneaking in changes other than crossing something out? If they give me a contract, and I change my wage from say $15 to $50 an hour, then give a signed version back for them to sign. Most people will probably notice. But I'm sure some dumbass will just check if your signatures are there and that's it, then sign it, and give you your copy. While I recognize this is a very scummy way to get better benefits, would this be legal? It's not like you're committing fraud or changing anything without giving them a chance to fix it. So in my head this should be fine. As long as I vaguely mention I made a change? Goodbye arbitration clause. How do you do this with e-signing? Request it to be print out just so you can cross it out and mail it back? Crosses out salary and writes in double hackerman. Don't forget, you can also take pics of each page of what you are given with your phone, you don't have to rely on a promise of someone to give you a photocopy. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.